come to once again chase this piece of hardware, a feat the little women were able to capture last year and one they're hungry to hold again. The friendly confines of Savage Arena, the team received one last boost of support before traveling to the MAC tournament. UT once again the favorites to punch a ticket to March Madness after finishing the season on a 13 game win streak. As the number one seed, the Rockets will take on Western Michigan at 11 a.m. tomorrow, a team they've beaten by an average of 21 points in the two meetings this year. But don't let the one versus eight seed fool you. Last year, UT needed overtime to advance past the first day. I think everybody's playing for their life, right? Their basketball life. Uh, and seniors tenderize the occasion, as, as did Buffalo last year when we played them. That's why, you know, yesterday when I was at Downtown Coaches, I encouraged our fans to get over there for this game and not take it for granted. We need them. Uh, because I think sometimes that first game is the hardest because you haven't been in the arena yet. And trying to get used to the rim and the sight lines and just the difference. When you finally do get, get comfortable, I feel like it's the second quarter. So it's, it's really important that our fans show up and that we come in with the right mindset. Hopefully experience pays off. Trisha Kolop's group also handed out some or handed some honors as well today. She herself, that sixth, her sixth Mac Coach of the Year award, time Bowling Green's Kurt Miller for most all time in the conference. Sophia Wired tabbed as the Player of the Year, joining teammate Quinisha Lockett, who won it last season. Rossford alum Sammy McConowitz earning her first All League selection as a third teamer. The Falcons under first year head coach Fred Schmiel tally four All Mac players, including Paige Kohler, who made the All Freshman team. 